thank you for stopping by my channel. I just thought it'd be awesome to make a video where we discuss some tips and tricks for answering Navly style questions, such as the ones provided by Vet Prep and Zuku, so that whenever it's time for you to sit your boards in November, you'll have some tools to work with. All right, I think that's nice, right? Um, a little disclaimer, I'm well aware that there's chirping going on because of the smoke detector. I have to change the batteries. It's on my to-do list. Okay. All right. So I just picked a random question from my vet prep list from um, whenever I was receiving questions of the day. So the one we'll start off with today is the one about Tommy. It's a four-year-old male neutered domestic short hair cat who presents to you for a frequent urination. Your analysis reveals four plus true vet crystals an abdominal radiograph shows a one centimeter round calculus in the bladder. Tommy doesn't have a urethral blockage and urine culture is negative. The owner says surgery to remove the stone is not an option due to finances. So which of the following would be the most important treatment for this patient? All right. After you've read the question, go back and find out exactly what they're asking you. Don't assume, don't rush because they know that you're assuming and they know that you're rushing. Just go back and just be sure. What are they really asking me? So then whenever you do that, you're gonna quickly go back and start to synthesize the information and dissect through the question. Obviously, siglament is very important. So I know my siglament, a four-year-old male neutered domestic, domestic short hair. I know my present, the presenting complaint, frequent urination, all right? So I see the little data that they've given me and they're telling me that he has some struvite crystals. Right off the bat, what do you remember? High yield information about struvite crystals. They are usually seen in alkaline urine, plus or minus uh, urinary tract infection, and they're also radio opaque, which was confirmed by abdominal radiographs. They were nice enough to let us know that he doesn't have a urethral blockage, and also that his urine culture is negative. So that's gonna help me um, narrow down what treatment options I need for this patient. Now here's the big thing. They say that the owner says that surgery to remove the stone is not an option, regardless of the reason. The owner just does not want surgery done. So they're saying, all right, now you know all this information. And obviously, especially with a stone in the bladder, first thing you think of, okay, I can do surgery. But let's just say you have someone who, for whatever reason, does not want surgery done. What's your next option to treat this patient? So now you have to remember medical management, which is typically done with the use of altering the diet. So again, because you remember that struvite crystals are usually found in an alkaline um, environment, alkaline urine, then obviously you're going to want to adjust that environment to make it more acidic so that you can dissolve these crystals. Now I'm going to go through my answer choices and see which answer option is, you know, closely matches up with what I'm already thinking. So the first one is Medicam. Medicam, sure, that is something that I could think of for this patient, but is it the most important treatment for this patient? Is it going to get rid of the problem? No, so I'm not saying that it's not something that you couldn't add to the treatment protocol, but we're not in real life clinical setting. We're trying to answer an exam question. <laughs> and this is where sometimes we can get tripped up on when we're saying, well, I know we can do this and we can do that. That's not what they're asking you. They're not asking you, what could you do? And, you know, well, in this situation, what would, you know, they're saying, tell me what the most important treatment is. That's all I need to know. Everything else I don't care about, okay? And that's how you have to approach it as well. Clavamox, there's no indication that this uh, patient has a bacterial infection that's going to warrant the use of this antimicrobial, so we're not even going to consider it any further. Chuck it off the list. Okay. The next one is potassium citrate. So if you remember, potassium citrate can be used when you are trying to um, treat calcium oxalate crystals. So our next option is acidifying diet. Everything we've said a few seconds ago fits closely with this answer choice. So I'm already gonna circle this one in my head. And then the last one is alkalinizing diet. So as I said before, struvite crystals, they are found in an alkaline environment. So we need to reverse that by going on the opposite end of that pH spectrum and find a diet that's more acidifying to help this patient get rid of the stones and the crystals because the owner cannot afford surgery. One other tip I want to give you as far as going through the answer choices and now let's just say you're, you're strapped for time this is question or you're tired right pretend this is question 325 and you're just like 
I need this exam to be done with. Sometimes, and not all the time, but sometimes whenever they're creating their answer options, I will just look to see which answer choices are closely related because usually the answer is going to be one or the other of the ones that are closely related. Of the five listed here, acidifying diet and alkalizing diet are closely related, okay? And the wording, diet. So for me, when the clock is ticking and my brain is fried, sometimes I say, listen, it's gonna be one or the other. If it's not an acidifying diet, it's gonna be an alkalinizing diet. And then it's 50-50 and the chances of me getting it correct um, are greater than if I were to sit here with a tired brain, clock is ticking, and I say, Medicam, is it Clavamaz? Especially if you're not quite sure what the answer is. And you will get some questions where you literally have no idea what the answer is. So sometimes you just gotta, you know, whip out that tool and answer the question and on to the next. All right, I hope that helped. Let's do one more question. Here's a question um, that has something to do with horses uh, from my horse people. A four-year-old mare has bilateral swelling and drainage of the mandibular lymph nodes. Rectal temperature is 101.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And which of the following is the most appropriate plan for this horse? Again, we're going to go back and see what exactly is being asked of me. And they want to know, do you know, student, what the most appropriate plan is? Not is, what is, you know, what's something we could do? No, I want to know if you can, based on the information that I've given you, tell me what the most appropriate plan is. So I see that this is a relatively young mare. She has bilateral swelling on and drainage of the mandibular lymph nodes. So right off the bat, I'm thinking strangles. Of course, there are other disease processes that could cause this bilateral swelling of the lymph nodes, but still I have strangles, you know, in the forefront of my mind. And her temperature is elevated as well, it's 101.8. And so now I have to figure out um, what's the most appropriate plan for this horse. Now, they don't give you any other information other than um, bilateral swelling of the lymph nodes and that she has a mildly elevated temperature. So those two things, while yes, strangles should be at the forefront of your mind, it can be a bit nebulous sometimes because of course there are other, like I said, other disease processes that could cause this. Now we do know that once we confirm that it strangles before we can say, aha, it strangles. And in order to do so, we are going to have to what? Run some diagnostics, right? So my answer choices are culture the discharge for bacteria, administer corticosteroids, administer penicillin, and inform the state veterinarian. What am I informing the state veterinarian for? I don't really know what I'm dealing with yet. So I have to run my diagnostics first. And then if it's a disease that I know it's reportable or notifiable, then I will contact the appropriate people. Why am I administering corticosteroids? This patient likely has some kind of infectious process going on and giving corticosteroids could impede on the body's ability to try to fight that infection. So that necessarily might not be the most appropriate uh, plan for this horse at this time. Why am I administering penicillin? I don't know exactly what this bacteria is that I'm gonna be administering penicillin for. It could be something that is resistant to penicillin. It could be some you know, reactive lymph nodes. It could be something else going on. So administering an antimicrobial without having any other evidence that it is um, a, a bacteria that would respond First of all, that it is a bacteria, period, and that it is a bacteria that would respond to this drug, that's just reckless. So the best option, based on what's given, um, the most appropriate plan for the horse would be to culture the discharge and look for bacteria. So boom, I click that and then I move on to the next. So I hope going through those two questions was helpful and I hope it started to introduce in your mind um, ways to start analyzing and again, synthesizing information and knowing what's what's pertinent information versus what is fluff. Um, those questions weren't exactly loaded questions. There will be, again, difficult ones where you have a lot of lab data to interpret, you have radiographs to interpret. Sometimes you'll get these gigantic stems of a question. You're just like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. The clock is ticking. How am I supposed to read through this novel and then read these radiographs, etc." So I'll make another video where I can, f um, where once I find a, a pretty, intense question, we can go through that together as well. So please let me know if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below. Please like this video, subscribe, and share it. Um, I'll, again, I'll try to make another video and I'll have that up soon. Bye.